Remember that we wanted to read the binary number 1101, and we were going to apply a process similar to what we did with the base 10 number 1308. If you think you understand where this is going and have abstracted the process, go ahead and pause the lesson and try it on your own first. So let's write 1101 and show it as the sum of powers of 2. We write 1 times 2 to the 3rd, 1 times 2 squared, 0 times 2 to the 1st, and 1 times 2 to the 0. You will want to get very comfortable with powers of 2 as a computer scientist, and they're pretty easy because getting from 1 to the next just involves doubling. Going from right to left, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. Binary conversion is easy when you consider that 0 times any number is 0. We don't need to worry about adding any of the places with 0. Looking at the three 1s, we have 8, 4, and 1, which sum to 13. The binary number 1101 represents the decimal number 13. We're going to look at another binary number. And this time, we'll use some more lingo to relate it to computers. Each binary digit is known as a bit. A set of eight binary digits is known as a byte. If you have a 32-bit instruction set, this means each instruction consists of four bytes. The binary number we're going to translate now is one byte of data. 00100111. Once again, challenge yourself by pausing the lesson and trying this on your own. To convert this number, we need to add the powers of 2 associated with each of the 1 bits in the byte. Those are the positions 0, 1, 2, and 5, counting from right to left. These thus represent 2 to the 0 equals 1, 2 to the 1 equals 2, 2 to the 2 equals 4, and 2 to the 5 equals 32. Add those four numbers together, and you have 39. What's the largest number you can represent with 8 bits? Hopefully you noticed from the chart that every power of 2 is represented by a leading 1 followed by zeros. To find the largest number in 8 bits, we take 2 to the 9th and then subtract 1. This is 256 minus 1 equals 255. In the next lesson, we'll look at converting decimal numbers to binary.